Welcome to the session Fiber Reinforced Concrete FRC. Myself, uh, Mr. Chetanji Kunapre, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Palchen Institute of Technology, Solapur. Now, these are the learning outcomes. At the end of the this session, students we will will be able to understand the features of fiber reinforced concrete and factors affecting properties of uh, fiber reinforced concrete. Now, as we know, the concrete is a mixture of basic ingredients, cement, sand, uh, coarse aggregate. And uh, fiber reinforced concrete means some addition is made in that concrete. So, uh, we can define this concrete as it is a mixture of cement mortar or cement concrete with discontinued discrete uniformly or uh, orderly or randomly dispersed fibers. So, that is uh, fiber reinforced concrete. Now, what is the need of this type of concrete? Now, our plain concrete, actually, it possesses very low tensile strength. So, low tensile strength means if any tensile stresses are occurring in the concrete, probably that will be subjected to the cracks. Now, these uh, cracks will wi widen. And uh, the low reason for low tensile strength is the micro cracks. And micro cracks and presence of micro cracks and their propagation will uh, reduce the tensile strength. Now, how this tensile strength of concrete can be improved? One is the conventional method, conventional reinforcement or reinforcing bars can be introduced in the concrete. So, that is our regular RCC. And second is uh, uh, tensile uh, strength can be improved by introducing the tendons into the concrete and that is pre-stressed uh, concrete. But uh, these are improvement techniques to improve the tensile strength of section, not of the concrete. So, concrete will uh, remain as it is, which is brittle in nature. Now, before loading, concrete is subjected to cracks, micro cracks. The reason is uh, the drying shrinkage. Because of drying shrinkage, uh, there will be micro cracks. And whenever uh, these micro cracks are subjected to, to the loading, these cracks will open up and start to propagate also. One more important thing is the initially the width of these micro cracks uh, uh, will be uh, very small or the width of three mic few microns also. But the other two dimension depth and width of uh, these uh, cracks will be of higher magnitude. So in case of uh, structural cracks, these are proceeding or they will proceed slowly. So the crack is a major problem in our regular concrete. Now, we need some crack arrester for in the, the, which is the disadvantage of the plain uh, cement concrete. So, addition of some fibers which are small, closely spaced, discontinuous and uniformly uh, dispersed uh, into the concrete will act as a crack arrester. So, functioning of crack arrester that is uh, uh, done by these fibers. So, continuous meshes, woven fly bricks and uh, long wires are not uh, fiber. So, discrete fibers uh, which are dispersed in the concrete, these are called as fibers and that concrete is called as fiber reinforced concrete. Now, which properties of concrete will enhance by these fibers? We are talking about uh, tensile strength. But what are the other properties which will enhance by fibers? Uh, you pause the video uh, and think of that and write down the other properties which will enhance by these fibers. Now, following properties of concrete will enhance. First is the flexural strength, bending strength of the concrete. Second, impact resistance of the concrete. So, so surface of the concrete must uh, be very tough. Crack resistance of the concrete. So, no, cracks shall not propagate or uh, will not propagate because of the fibers. Toughness of the concrete and more important property is ductility of concrete that will enhance. The concrete is brittle in nature. So, by addition of the fiber, if the ductility, ductile property of the concrete increase, that is uh, the better advantage. Now, there are various fibers and these different types of fibers can be used, but all that cannot be effective or, and economic also. But each fiber has got its own characteristics and limitation. So, let us see the fibers. Now, steel fibers, polypropylene fibers, lime nylon fibers, asbestos, coir, glass and carbon. These are the 
different fibers used in the concrete. Now what is this fiber? Fiber is a small reinforcing material. The shape of the fiber may be circular, flat, uh, with the straight end, with the uh, different end, with uh, some texture or crimped uh, surfaces. Now this fiber can be described with the aspect ratio. Now the aspect ratio of the fiber is the ratio of its uh, length to its diameter. Now typical aspect ratio of the fiber is ranging from 30 to 150. Generally it is kept 120. Now these are the steel fibers. You can observe these steel fibers and uh, at the end uh, the ends are hooked and uh, this will act as an anchorage into the concrete. So round fibers and hooked fibers bo in both types the steel fiber is available. Diameter is 0 0.25 to 75 mm. Now it improves the flexural impact and fatigue strength of the concrete. Now application of the steel fiber is in the overlays of the roads, uh, airfield pavements, industrial floors and in some bridge decks also. Next is polypropylene fiber and nylon fiber. Now this is polypropylene fiber. So it has got very high tensile strength but the modus of elasticity E is very low in case of polypropylene fiber. But uh, because of the elongation, because it's low, modus of elasticity is less, definitely there will be higher elongation and uh, it will not contribute to the flexural strength. Now next is asbestos, this is mineral fiber, tensile strength is 560 to 980 Newton per mm square. So it has got high flexural strength than cement best. Now next is uh, coir fiber, jute fiber. So this is a coconut tree, you can observe these fibers here and one is the cross section, longitudinal cross section of this fiber. Uh, so coir fiber is in this form which is a natural fiber that can be used in the concrete where uh, that much tensile strength uh, is not expected, little bit uh, improvement is expected by using the coir fiber. Next is glass fibers, this is a recent uh, introduction into the fiber reinforced concrete, tensile strength of glass fiber is uh, 1020 to 4080 newton per mm square but uh, glass fiber uh, is affected by alkaline conditions so alkali pre or uh, alkali resistant fibers are important so that can be used uh, in the concrete so one trade name is there that is semphil which is alkali resistant glass fiber next is carbon fiber now tensile strength of carbon fiber is 2110 to 2850 newton per mm square uh, these are used uh, basically in cladding, panels and shells uh, or type structure. So their use is started yet now. The mass scale if it is used uh, definitely that will be one of the promising future. Now these are the factors which affects the properties of FRC. Because whenever some addition is made in the concrete the properties may affect. Some may, uh, property may enhance, some may reduce. Now by observing and studying the factors which affects the property of the uh, concrete, uh, we can give the best uh, solution. Now FRC is actually a mixture of fibers into the cement matrix. Cement matrix uh, that is that which creates a, a better bond between cement paste and the aggregate. Now first factor is the fibers may be orderly mannered or randomly distributed. This is the first factor. If proper distribution is there, definitely the properties of FRC will increase. Second thing, important factor is transfer of stresses between matrix and the fiber. Whatever load or stresses are coming on the concrete, if all these stresses are effectively transferred from matrix to the fiber, then uh, definitely your properties will enhance. Now, what are the factors, sub factors? which will uh, affect the transfer of stresses. First is type of fiber, second uh, geometry of fiber whether it is a plain fiber, cream fiber or hooked fiber at the ends uh, what is the geometry that is also important. Third is fiber content, so percentage of the fiber is important, so fiber content is the third sub parameter. Fourth is orientation and distribution of the fibers if uh, it is distributed properly, if the fiber orientation is uh, perpendicular to the crack definitely that will arrest the crack more effectively and next is size and shape of the aggregate fifth point which is a uh, important point because based on the size and shape 
द सीमेंट मैट्रिक्स एंड इट्स अरेंजमेंट इज डिपेंडेंट एंड सिक्स इज मिक्सिंग एंड कॉम्पैक्शन टेक्निक ऑफ द कॉम्प्रेट सो हाउ द बॉन्ड विल डेवलप इन टू सीमेंट मैट्रिक्स एंड फाइबर दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन दिस कॉम्पैक्शन नो नेक्स्ट इज फॉर इफिशियंट ट्रेन्स ट्रांसफर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर फॉर दैट यंग्स मॉडल्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स मस्ट बी मच लोअर दैन द यंग्स मॉडल्स ऑफ फाइबर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर नेक्स्ट इज द बॉन्ड बिटवीन फाइबर एंड द मिक्स नाउ यू कैन सी दिस डायग्राम दिस बीम विच इज अ फ्लेक्जरल मेंबर तो लोड इज अप्लाइड हियर वन क्रैक इज डेवलप्ड एंड दिस इज अ फाइबर मेश सो दिस क्रैक इज अरेस्टेड बाय द फाइबर नाउ हाउ इट इज इफेक्टिव so the bond between fiber and mix that actually plays important role in the stress transfers how the stress is transferred to each other that is uh, de dependent upon interfacial bond okay and last thing is the improvement in bond of, of the fiber and mix that depends upon the larger area of the contact the, so this larger area of the contact means the bond will increase by the area contact between fiber and matrix and uh, if it is improved then the frictional resistance and the degree of gripping that will improve and one more uh, aspect is there we can increase the bond by sodium hydroxide these are the references for this uh, fiber reinforced concrete session thank you